Leaked documents show connection between Russia and Dutch political party. Here's a summary of the article. Leaked documents posted online by Ukrainian hackers show that the Kremlin has very successfully been trying to develop ties with the PVV since 2013. The documents also show that PVV leader Geert Wilders has been trying to hide his far-right populist party's connections with Russia, follow the money reports. Slutsky organized PVV MEP Andrei Elisin's visit to Moscow in 2017 to observe the Russian elections. The documents also show that the PVV has tried to conceal its political ties with the Kremlin. According to FTM, the leaked documents show that the PVV is one of several political parties that Slutsky and his Russian Peace Foundation have been influencing, bribing, and inviting to Russia on an all-expenses-paid basis for at least 10 years. According to Jakub Kelnsky, a researcher at the Expertise Center on Hybrid Security Threats in Helsinki, the relationship between the PVV and Russia exposed in these documents is a textbook example of the Kremlin's strategy to influence Western politicians. Five years after Wilder's trip to Moscow, the PVV's position on Russia has remained the same, according to FTM's analysis of the party's voting behavior. This post received a score of 3,800, with an up-vote ratio of 97%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. He looks like a Disney villain. He also acts like one. Russia has financed systematically any party in Europe aiming to dismantle the EU. Greater than Russia has financed systematically any party in Europe aiming to dismantle the EU. Russia has financed systematically the Republican Party in America, aiming to dismantle the United States of America and hash X200B. Just thought I would borrow and change your comment I hope you don't mind. Very much aligned. Do this with Salvini in Italy and Le Pen in France. Isn't it already known that Salvini has Russian connections? Le Pen too. It is as evident as it could be. Apparently Nigel Farage too. PVV members have participated in Russian propaganda events, and their visits were organized by the far-right Duma member Leonid Slutsky. According to FTM, the leaked documents show that the PVV is one of several political parties that Slutsky and his Russian Peace Foundation have been influencing, bribing, and inviting to Russia on an all-expenses-paid basis for at least 10 years. According to Jakub Kelnsky, a researcher at the Expertise Center on Hybrid Security Threats in Helsinki, the relationship between the PVV and Russia exposed in these documents is a textbook example of the Kremlin's strategy to influence Western politicians. Five years after Wilder's trip to Moscow, the PVV's position on Russia has remained the same, according to FTM's analysis of the party's voting behavior. Greater than according to FTM. The leaked documents show that the PVV is one of several political parties that Slutsky and his Russian Peace Foundation have been influencing, bribing, and inviting to Russia on an all-expenses-paid basis for at least 10 years. That Leonid Slutsky really gets around. He's like a vodka bottle in Russia. Everyone's sucking him dry. What a slut. Not him. He's the son of slut. Not surprised, TBH. FVD and PVV go around a lot of the same circles. The FVD one is even more egregious. But it is glorifying and promoting Russian propaganda on a level so unsubtle that you don't even need to investigate them. It's so blatant. The sole reason he got any political momentum was because of the Ukraine referendum. Russia has ties to every far-right political party in Europe, and to most far-left as well. More surprisingly, they also have a good number of moderate, centrist politicians in their books. They've had a very successful undisturbed two decades of making friends. I just learned recently that Russia is behind a lot of the anti-nuclear power propaganda. Seeing as they are a large exporter of gas and oil, if Europe went nuclear, Russia would lose out on a big customer. So they try to scare everyone away from nuclear. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.